From defining exactly what is Northern Colorado to discussing what it's like living in Northern Colorado and then comparing Larimer versus Weld County, which make up Northern Colorado. Now it's time to help you understand how to move to Northern Colorado in six steps. Well, maybe it's not that easy, but here's some different ideas. These six steps to help you understand the process just a little bit better if you're considering a move to Northern Colorado. What's up everybody? My name is Patrick Sugup with Sugup Real Estate Services here in Fort Collins, Colorado. Coming to you with this YouTube channel discussing everything what it's like to live in Fort Collins in Northern Colorado. Eat, sleep, play, work, you name it, it's discussed here. If at the end of this video you've enjoyed the content, give it a thumbs up, leave a comment, engage, interact. And as much as we like making these YouTube videos for real estate for Northern Colorado and Fort Collins, we like more working with buyers, sellers, and investors. So if you're considering moving to Northern Colorado, give me a call, send me a text, email, whatever it is, I've got your back when it comes to moving to Northern Colorado. So without any further delay, let's jump into the six steps of moving to Northern Colorado. Enjoy guys. Step number one, deciding what you're going to do, moving to Larimer County or Weld County. What is it for you? Do you want to live a little bit more in the plains, potentially get some more land, or are you all about the foothills? Quick, easy access to the mountains and hiking. Granted, you know, if you're living in Greeley, yeah, sure, it might be only about 30 to 45 minutes to get to your nearest hiking trails in the mountains, but maybe your jam is like, hey, it's sunny, let's grab the dog, let's go hike horse tooth. So deciding whether it's Larimer or Weld County is step number one. If you haven't, go watch that video that discusses the comparables, the geography, political, population growth, income, economy, housing prices, all of that's discussed there. So I think that's step number one, deciding which part of Northern Colorado you wanna live in, Weld or Larimer County. Step number two, engage the services of a local realtor. And whether that's me or somebody else, that's totally okay. Just make sure it's somebody that you know, like, and trust. Hop on a Zoom call with them. Ask them some questions. Figure out if your personalities jive. Because this person's probably gonna be in a, a, you're gonna be in a relationship with this person for anywhere from two months to two years. Honestly, the folks that I'm working with that are coming in from out of the state, it's been as quick as a month or as long as 18 months. And even honestly, I just had to reach out for somebody moving in 2023. You can bet that over the years and months, we'll continue to have a conversation and build that relationship so that when it does come time, whether they come here to buy or rent, rent and then buy, whatever that might be, hopefully I've under, helped them understand the market a little bit better. So for somebody who is making this huge move, this huge transition, they feel more confident in their decision. So step number two, engage the services of a local realtor. They can be a massive tool for you and use them as boots on the ground and leverage and hedge against risk and the downside uncertainty of you making such a big move. Step number three, buy versus rent. This is probably one of the most common conversations that I have with folks moving in from out of town, state, or country is should we rent first and then buy? Just buy right away. And honestly, it's kind of dealer's choice. What are you more comfortable doing? Do you feel confident in buying a house? Not necessarily sight unseen, but maybe not necessarily having boots on the ground yourself, your own boots in the property. Maybe you want to rent first. You want to rent in, the, in, in Windsor or in Greeley and figure out if that market is for you. Or maybe you want to rent in Loveland or Fort Collins before you decide, hey, I know I, I really I really like the idea of living in Northern Colorado. I lived in Loveland for a year, but I always found myself commuting to Fort Collins and just feel like buying a house in Fort Collins makes a lot more sense than buying one in Loveland. Or hey, honestly, 
the housing prices in Greeley are a whole lot more affordable than they are in Fort Collins or Loveland, I'm gonna stick around there. So that's kind of a big discussion. And from there, even honestly renting short-term versus long-term, short-term rental versus three months, six, 12 months, whatever that might be, we're helping people connect with local landlords, property managers, if we do not ourselves have property available, available for them. And then also from there, connecting them with a lender if what their decision is, is to buy first. But that's a massive choice, you know, and, and honestly, it's just a matter of what is your comfort level. I've talked to people who want to, who hundred percent want to rent first and then buy, who want to rent for a couple months and then buy, or just, you know, screw it. I want to buy right away, right away. There's no right answer. It's what you are most comfortable with. So step number three, buying versus renting. So step number four could absolutely be step number three. And the reason why is because, well, step number four is talking to a local lender. And maybe you wanna know what your purchasing power or capability is before you decide to buy or rent. And my suggestion is talking to somebody locally. Absolutely, there's options out there, the Rocket Mortgages, Quicken Loans, that supply a good product that's you know super easy and simple and essentially anybody with a pulse will qualify. But I suggest working with somebody here as, you know, they can be your advocate, knows the market, will be here for you at potentially closing when, you know, COVID allows lenders to sit in on closings. But that would be a great place for you to discuss Again, what your purchasing power is, what your credit score is, down payment, employment, how are you gonna bring your employment? Are you bringing your employment from back home? Are you working remotely? Do you have to find new work? Do you need to be established here for two months, one year? Are you self-employed? There's so many different variables that talking to a local lender would be a great step for you to understand what your move process to Northern Colorado looks like. Step number five is submitting offers and negotiating the contract. Well, in 2021, I can tell you that it is a very difficult landscape if you are a buyer, specifically if you are a buyer sub $500,000. Once you get between five to 650, it gets a little bit more realistic, not tremendously so, but once you exceed past $650,000, I would say that it begins to act a little bit more normal. Yeah, you might have competing offers or multiple offers, but you're not gonna have these you know, 20% above list price that you're seeing when you're sub $500,000. So it's important that you're working with somebody that understands you know, how to navigate offers. Whether you're working with me or, or anybody else, I think it's extremely important, especially if it's your first time buying a home, do not waive an inspection. It's okay to take a property as is, sure. You know, but that's taking it as is with the assumption and understanding what that property is. That doesn't mean that you can't have an inspection. And if there's something that comes back that's surprising to you, AKA the furnace is broken or has been red tagged or the roof shot, or there's a leak underneath the master floor that's causing potential mold, Either discuss it with the seller, say, hey, I love to take this property as is, but X, Y, Z is wrong with the property. I'm, I'm either just gonna need a walk, which if you do and they have a backup person who's willing to forego everything, don't compromise your financial future and integrity because you're trying to win a deal. And don't work with somebody who's willing to compromise that. It's able, you are able to win and discuss contracts better. Have your lender call them have an escalation clause, different tools and tactics, tactics that can help you negotiate to the best of your ability to put a property under contract while maintaining your ability to act logically. And then once you do get a property under contract, you're gonna have 20 to 50 days of negotiations, uh, not necessarily negotiations, I shouldn't say that, but steps that you're gonna have to take. Get through title, inspection, appraisal, loan contingencies, and then 40, 30 to 40 days later, you're gonna close. And if you're not here in town, it's imperative that you have somebody with strong, strong relationships and willing to, and understands the process to help you feel comfortable making these big, big decisions. Whether that be reviewing the title work, 
getting an inspector in there and having a FaceTime showing once they're done to looking over the appraisal. And maybe you have a gap provision or maybe it's something that you have to negotiate, but having somebody with boots on the ground that can go by the property at any time, specifically if you have a specific question or, or concern, you're getting the sewer line scoped, having a roofer go check it out. All of those things, it's just nice to have somebody that can understand that contract process and be willing to work with you and your timelines from moving from out of state. So step five is negotiating offers and negotiating the con while under contract. Step number six, the final step, closing on your new home, getting the keys to your rental, but making that transition to Northern Colorado. Probably one of the most exciting and scary steps for folks that are moving in from out of town or out of state. It's exciting for me because I get to see some person, family, make their way and set roots into the area that I love to call home, which is Northern Colorado. Now you don't have to be here if you're closing. You can do a mail out closing if you're living in South Carolina and wanting to do a final walkthrough with me at, on FaceTime. Obviously, if you're renting a little bit smoother, probably come in with your U-Haul, the place is gonna be ready for you. Not a massive transition, besides uprooting your life wherever you are and, and making that way. It's been a quick, it's relatively easy. You could have a, your, you sign the lease on a Tuesday and move in on Friday. Whereas this, this contract that you've just negotiated over the last 30 to 45 days, maybe you're gonna close on uh, the first of the month, but not move in until the end of the month and leveraging somebody that is on site, you know, such as your, your realtor, whoever that might be, to help vendors get into the property, uh, new flooring, paint, appliances, kitchen remodel, put a lockbox on the property, come by, take, take pictures, drive by the property once a week, make sure that a, uh, you know, a vacant property is the most dangerous property because you could have leaks if you're in the middle of winter, you know, squatters, not necessarily the biggest issue in Northern Colorado, but still it, it could happen and leveraging the boots on the ground when you close that pro that sale if you're not making your way right out and right away is definitely a, a tool that i would recommend but making that transition man what what a time super exciting you have so many things going on changing utilities drivers uh, license plates which honestly Folks from California, I can tell you one of the first things that they do is change out their license plates. Yeah, you have time limits and time frames, but it seems like the, the folks from California don't want to be tagged as, you know, oh, the Californians coming into Colorado. So I can tell you with the few people, not a ton, the few people that I've worked with from California, that's one of the first things they do. But making that transition to Northern Colorado is an extremely exciting time. And I hope to have the opportunity to be a part of that with you. So if you haven't, again, please, you know, consider subscribing to the channel if what you're looking for is all information in Northern Colorado and moving to Fort Collins or different areas. Send me a text or email, give me a call if what you're looking at doing is buying, selling, or investing here in Northern Colorado. I appreciate you guys watching. Hopefully you've enjoyed. Take care.